everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a chilly day, but it was a good day. It ended up a good day. I gotta adjust my glasses. They're kinda can't see can't see what I wanna see. Um I'm gonna do my thankful challenge first. And the thankful challenge, I was challenged by Mark, the Arkansas woodcutter, and the thankful challenge was started by Kimber Keto Life and Simple Life Reclaimed. And I'm tagging Pamela's adoring crochet. Pamela, you're tagged. Um and what am I thankful for? Let's get into that. <laughs> Every time I come up here, I'm thinking, what am I thankful for? Oh, you know what I'm thankful for today? That I didn't lose my chicken to a hawk. That was something today. I was um, in the kitchen, and Paige was in the living room. I had the kids again today. And so Paige was in the actually the computer room, and she heard this commotion, terrible commotion, and she looked out, and she goes, Nona, I think a hawk has a chicken because the chickens all ran and so I went out and as soon as I opened the door the hawk took flight and yes it did have a chicken in, and the chicken it had was Rosie but Rosie was fine and Silver was under the tree all of the rest of them had made it to the chicken house but not those two so I went outside and I'm looking around and I'm looking to see how she's doing and she was doing fine she there was not even a feather on the ground so I had gotten there just in time. And I hung around outside for a little bit because I could see the hawk. It was in the tree still. And then it flew from that tree to another tree and then it flew away. And um, Pretty Boy was in the chicken run with all the rest of the chickens to protecting them. And the other two, when I went in the house, they came up and boy, um, Rosie ran really fast. I would run too. And Silver kind of went a little fast, but not real, not real fast. And then later I gave them their chicken scratch, and um, they all came out to get it, but I threw it into the chicken run. I'd rather they were in the chicken run having the chicken scratch. I didn't want them outside. So that is probably what scared them the last time, because they stayed in the chicken house, chicken uh, run area, the whole time, because... They were probably, they could probably sense the hawk was still nearby. I had Mr. Brown outside, but of course he's underneath his protective um, cage thing that I, I put up for him. He was out there for quite a while, and he enjoyed his day. And he came in, I brought him in after a little while, and then I brought him back out. I let him out twice so that he could he could scratch around and and do whatever he wants to do in the dirt and eat the green leaves off the pepper plants the peppers plants are looking like they're they're really I picked all the peppers off so there's nothing left but plants and so that's my day that was my day um, it was a good day with the kids they did their homework they had the zoom the zoom classes are much more like what I thought zoom classes should have been where they are actually doing the 45-minute Zoom class rather than just an email and telling them what they need to do. This has been much better this time around. At least they're getting their classes. So she did, she has, um, Paige has at least three hours worth of Zoom classes. And Kyle, he only had a little bit in the morning and then the rest of it was just basic. He had to do himself. He had to um, read the email and you know the darn little fella, because <laughs> yesterday uh, he was he had deleted some emails, and so I f went in there and I looked to see what he had thrown into trash, and I found what I was looking for. Well, today he was he he did the same thing, only this time he deleted his trash. And I said no. I says you know you can throw stuff in the trash if you want, but if I have to retrieve it. You, it should be in the trash. Do not delete your trash. So hopefully the next time if I need to find something that he deleted, because sometimes he deletes things and I need to read it again because it will have instructions on that. And um, I go into the trash and find it. Well, it wasn't in the trash. So we had to send an email to the teacher to ask, request whatever information it was we were looking for at the time and wait for that email to come in. He took a spelling test over the internet today 
and his microphone didn't want to work, so I gave him my headset with the microphone connected to it, and thankfully that worked, and they could hear him real good. And Paige, she did hers on the computer on my on her her uh, math, and her spelling was on the computer, and she had Project No, and I called it Project Now, but it's Project No. So she had the headset on for that, so if they had to ask questions, she was able to ask and she could hear. And they said that she came through very clear because of the headset. Well, that's the video for today. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.